Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how do I choose the right inpatient rehab program? Before worrying about the where of things, let's talk about the why of them. If there's any overlap at all between your desire to enter rehab and a pending criminal case, the first step in making this choice should be to talk to your lawyer. Before I recommend inpatient rehab, I need to be certain in my own mind that there's a nexus, a logical link or a connection between the rehab and the case. If there's no compelling link, then it's not likely to help your case. And even if there is, you still need to consider certain variables in your case, starting with your judge, who needs to have a reputation for being both willing to listen and to care about the rehab. And then if all that falls into place, we can get to the where of things. Choosing the right program starts with understanding the goal. Do we need substance abuse only, or do we need to address mental health issues as well? This is a very important decision, because you can go through a detox program, substance abuse treatment, or you could attend a full-blown, dual diagnosis facility. In any event, attending an accredited and respected facility is clutch, but proximity and affordability are almost always going to be significant concerns. Some facilities are going to have better reputations with the court than others. Some are going to take your insurance, some won't, and sometimes you may not have insurance in the first place. Some programs will have legitimate doctors and licensed personnel on staff. Others simply have former addicts running the show. In the event, you need to choose the right facility for you, with the right program and the right personnel to convey the right message to the court. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.